Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today what I'd like to talk about is how much money do I have invested in luxury watches? How much money have I put in? Well, let's take a look. My Rolex Day-Date. My Jager Le Coutre Reverso Grand Date in steel. Absolute stunner, that one. Absolute stunner. And the other pieces I have... In the sports genre, the Rolex Explorer 2, one of the icons in the Rolex sports range with solid end links, and a solid gold Rolex Submariner, solid gold Rolex Submariner with blue dial, reference 16618. How much money have I put into these pieces? How much money have I invested? That's what I want to talk about today, fuckers. I want to come clean, talk to the audience, and you can see what I've paid. I want to make this video. I want to talk about money. Some people don't like talking about money. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit funny. Some people are very sensitive, and they don't think it's the right thing to do. But um, look, on the Archie Luxury channel, viewers are falling off like flies. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll make a video and tell you exactly what prices I paid so you can have an idea of the pieces that I've got, what I paid, and whether I've been sensible or stupid. Now, fuckers, I'm going to tell you all the prices I'm going to discuss are in Australian dollars, okay, Aussie dollars, and... Um, I'll, you know, I think this is the best way to do it. Aussie dollars is where I'm in, and I'll give you a US dollar price. Now, obviously, the US dollar fluctuates to the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar is a bit, bit of a yo-yo at times. In the early 2000s, the Aussie dollar was down to, you know, it went, it went below 50 cents. One Aussie dollar was only worth 50 US cents. Then, in the... Um, you know, in the in the teens, it was going up to about the uh, it was over parity. The Aussie dollar was stronger than the U.S. dollar. So it's an interesting world, there, fuckers. It's very interesting. So let's begin, fuckers. Okay, let's start off with the uh, the flagship piece, the Rolex Gold Sub. I paid for that. I paid for the Gold Sub. I paid for that nineteen thousand Australian, which was fourteen thousand seven hundred. And I've had a bit of repair work done on it. Uh, basically, I got the piece polished and serviced. So it owes me the grand total of Australian 19,670, which is about um, 15, 15 and a bit US dollars. 15 and a bit, 15,250 US dollars. And. Um, it owes me about 19 and a half in Aussie currency. Okay, the next great piece let's talk about is the Rolex Explorer 2. I paid for that. It's a solid N-Link 2004 version. I paid 4,500 Aussie, which is about 3480 US dollars. Good buying, Archie. And finally, let's have a look at the Rolex Day Date. What did I pay for the Rolex Day Date? This is a very, very cool piece, which I bought from my good friend Brian from Zertcon, Debt Recovery and Security. And what price did I pay? This is a very nice 18038 with a long bracelet, because Archie's a little bit on the plus side. And uh, we can't deny it that... Um, <clears throat> He's uh, he's a porky fucker, and uh, it's a it's an expensive thing to to get the watch to fit. But uh, Archie's actually paid for that piece there, eleven thousand Australian, which is eight and a half US. So um, as you can see there, Archie has got um, he's made some considerable investments there, and it's a lot of fun. These are great pieces to own. They're great pieces to have, enjoy. And just you know, just just cherish there for the for the next generation. So um, I'd like to hear from the audience. What do you think there of Archie's investments? He's he's invested a fair bit, 
And uh, I'd like to hear, what do you fuckers, you miserable, nasty, vicious fuckers, think of Archie's investment? In Aussie dollars, Archie has put in 31,770 Aussie dollars. And uh, that's, that's a fair bit of coin, fuckers. It's a fair bit of coin that Archie has um, Archie's put in there. He hasn't been cheap in the least. He's really gone for pieces that he he loves. And uh, that's that's a great thing. I think at the end of the day, you've got to buy things that make you happy. And uh, that's what, what Archibald Chesterfield III has done. He's really put in big money. And uh, sorry, I made a mistake in the calculation, fuckers. I just realized I made a mistake. I put in 41,670 Aussie dollars, which is $32,230 US. What do you think? 32 grand US, fuckers, for these four pieces. Did Archie do well? Is that good buying? What do you fuckers think? I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, foul-mouthed fuckers think of that. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.